How's it going guys? The butcher's block here again. And today, <coughs> excuse me, today unfortunately we have some more Audi bashing. So I just want to put it out there. Generally I really like every, all the randomness from Audi. But it seems when it comes to locks and all that uh, gear, like the uh, towing pack I showed in my uh, last video, they're really cut corners. Um, so these um, Delta brand, um, these for the pair was $7. And they are the sorts of combo locks that you can set your own combination. So that is the combo that's set at the moment. So, oh, no, it's not. That's the combo that's set at the moment. Move it, all locked up. Okay, so there's two very easy ways to decode these. You can do it by a shim because of the uh, very sloppy tolerances, but the even easier way is to do it by sight. So we need to have a lock in which I do not know the combination. So I'll get my, um, oh, sorry, uh, just before we do that, I'll show you how to change the code. You put it to 90 degrees in that little indicator Press down, change, and then so we now need a lock in which I do not know the combination. So get my son's awesome dinosaur tea towel. Um, turn it to ninety degrees. Push down. Scramble, you can hear him scrambling. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So now I just gotta make sure that they're all in a gate. All right, which I think they are. Okay, back to closed and scramble, scramble, scramble. All right, ta-da. So we now have a lock in which I do not know the combination. So you can um, do it the hard way and feel um, for, it's actually not a, a, a well, I guess it's a gate, but it's not like a little cutout. It's, you're looking for, it's like a little nubbin, a little ball bearing sort of thing. So, let's see if we can do this by sight. So, one thing that does help doing this by sight is the very poor, poor tolerances. So, just pushing the code wheel, I can get a little peek in there. So, you can see You can see all that going on in there, and what you're looking for is sorry, I think I might have another on my side. Is like a little ball bearing. That right there. That just below the seven. Him right there. Okay. Now let's just put him back in there so I'm not shaking. So we'll do it with a shim this time. Oh, I feel something. 
right below the nine, put him there. Oh, right below the one, put him there. If you have it on the right angle, you can see it, but right below the three, put him there. All right, let's just see if we can get a better look at this little nubbin. There he is. Right there. All right. Now I've just got to make sure. Oh, I don't knock the camera. And that they're all lined up, which I believe they are. Okay. So five one five three one nine is not the combination. That's just where all the uh, gates are lined up. So let's go one 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 oh, two 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 three 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 oh, and we got them open. So yes. Once again, another very disappointing um, product from Audi. And yeah, uh, definitely stay away from these guys unless you want to lock up, uh, I don't know, the cookie jar or something. Nothing of any value. Um, just in that also, they're, they're very poor construction. They're two halves. Uh, one good hit with a hammer and this would be uh, open. There's no locking ball or anything on this side. It's just this flimsy piece of uh, nubbin. That's all that's holding it in. Yep. So that is all I have for today. Um, hooroo.